Hello and welcome back again to our game impression series and we play again close combat this time Wacht am Rhein. If you want to know more about the special features of this series just watch the other game impression videos here. We will just have a short battle and we will go for this one here for Antler with the 14th Cavalry Division and we will just have a lot of fun with this action. I will show you some of the units. You have the platoon leaders, they help the units to perform better, have a higher morale, then we have all these kind of units, also some nice tank units, actually smaller ones, but still some tank units. And so we have about 15 minutes action to see just how this part of the series is doing. Here we go. Unit deployment, okay. So we have to assault here. Hmm, I think we can just bring in our units a little bit closer here. What we always have to do is we have to put infantry and tanks together. As the infantry units usually is good if they are covered. Here's the recon team, very good. And the tanks, as soon as anyone starts shooting at us or we start shooting at anyone because we see units, the tanks will just completely suppress or even destroy the infantry units. So it's good always to use this kind of combined arms as it's also in real life. Okay, here we go. That's an anti-tank gun, so I guess there may be some tanks around of the Axis forces. So we'll put this one here. Usually tanks are driving around rather in area that is not woods because their infantry can easily just ambush and assault them. And we bring in a few vehicles we have here. There's another recon team. Well, we have lots of recon teams. It's of course very helpful as we have to run into this place. Okay, these are mortars. Good. Um, they will help us suppress infantry as well. So we have to run into this place and this is a perfect place where they could ambush us at any point. So we put some more tanks up here and then we should be doing firepower wise very fine and we just get it started. Here we go. So, our Rican team obviously cannot see anything yet. What about these guys? Uh-huh. They are heavy machine gunners. Mm-hmm. We receive some shooting. Like mortar or something. Okay. There are some infantry units and these poor guys will just suffer greatly with our tanks. Now, there is a tank coming our way. Wow. And that's a big one, as we have only light tanks. This tank will destroy us if we're not capable of taking it out before it can do that. But we can also send them some mortars. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're already getting pretty much in trouble. Come on, send in mortars. Here, from everywhere we can. Send in as many as we can just to suppress and destroy these guys. Come on, do it. Did you already destroy this tank and the crew? Would be very neat if we would be able to do that. I think this tank is out of order, right? It's destroyed, wow. I didn't expect that our smallish tanks would be able to do so, but they're doing really fine here. Now comes also some mortar extra that will add to the suppression and maybe give this tank a pretty bad time. Wow. Okay, this tank cannot move already anymore. We received quite some damage here. Now, in a real campaign I would never do what I'm doing. I'm going here quite aggressive and that of course is also high risk. I would usually approach very, very carefully only sending in units like infantry first, whom I can afford to lose. Because in a long campaign you get some replacements, but you have to be very careful that you do not lose important or very expensive units like tanks and stuff. I think we're doing pretty fine here. Destroying them very quickly. Ah, okay. There's Volkssturm. Let's go for them. They should be very, very weak units, usually. They were highly motivated, but hardly trained at all. And hardly capable of taking out any series unit. Wow, we destroyed the second tank, obviously. Very nice. But one of our tanks got also destroyed. Uh oh There's still somebody shooting at us. Is it a tank or is it an anti-tank anti cannon or something like that? Ah, that was another tank. But we still have an anti-tank cannon here. So if it will get around, we have a possibility to take a shot. Now our tanks are shooting at it. Ah, that's the assault gun. Very famous German unit. Hmm, we can't see it right now, okay. 
So what we do now is we move in quickly here with our recon team. And hope that we soon have a chance whether to assault these guys. Or that they maybe run in our trap and we can take them out with our anti-tank cannon. How are you doing? You're a scout as well. You can sneak around this corner and just take a look. Are you still alive? No. You're destroyed as well. So we lost two tanks. They lost one or two tanks too. And still lots of shooting going on, but we should win this one easily. This is just Volkssturm. They are really not worth much. Whoa, you have to run off. Run off, run off, run off. There is a tank. Good that we can see it now. Too bad that we positioned our anti-tank cannon like here, so we cannot really shoot at it from here. Now what we could al what else we could do is of course try to assault it with our infantry. That's why we move in our platoon leader here. And we will sneak in another recon team over here. I don't think that recon teams are very good at taking out tanks. Well, they're doing fine. Maybe an assault attempt would be good. You can see we caused more losses to the Axis than they were able to cause for us. So we are actually not doing bad. It's just I took the highest risk possible tactic here. And of course I would not do that in a complete campaign because even if we cause heavy losses to the enemy it doesn't help us much if we take heavy losses too. Well, 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 well. Doing fine here. Uh, at least if it comes to destruction. We destroyed quite a bit. <laughs> okay. Recon team. Sneak up here. That we can see where the tank is. Another possibility is that we try to shoot at this tank with our motor as much as possible. Maybe suppressing it in some way like that. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Now at least we can see it again. That was important. And uh, now we can do our mortar fire. Hopefully hitting it also, because mortar is usually not so close to the target where we want it to be. Wow. What's happening? Yeah. Cool stuff. Wow. That was our bazooka team. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Very nice. Oh, I think I read it wrong. I read <laughs> Recon team instead of Bazooka team. Of course Bazooka team was very effective <laughs> against this tank. Goodbye. This is a side gun. Now we can actually move in. Well, all these <laughs> units cannot move anymore because they just took too much damage. But we can now move in all our units and actually assault this place. And see what will happen. Yeah. You are in much trouble, guys. Much trouble. No, you guys can shoot at them. Can you? No. Whoa, what's that? Oh, the battle ended because all the Axis forces were destroyed or routed. So that was even quicker than I wanted it to be. The Allies gained control of the entire area. As I said, we can weather take all the victory points or destroy the Axis. The Axis forces were unable to retreat and were forced to disband. The Allies won the battle because they control a greater number of crucial victory locations than the Axis. Actually, we just destroyed them. Oh, that was a very nice one, so you can see how it works. Again, we took ma way too many losses. Would have been way more careful if it would be the campaign, but we still had a very nice result, and we had a lot of fun, I think. So see you next video. Steve Warrior, over and out.